Hi, Mr. Gassi TV. Now, guys, this video is about safe standing in football grounds. Now, guys, I I find this like a really controversial topic. So I decided to ask loads of football fans to give their opinions and I'm so, so grateful to everyone on this video. It meant the world and it was just so interesting. I wanted to do something completely different. I didn't want to just sit here and say my opinion because as I said, it's a controversial subject. I wanted to hear from lots of different football fans because as I said, it's a big talking point and it's one of them things that there's a it's all about safety and there's a lot in the history of football that's happened surrounding this matter as to why people might be for and against it so i did want to get everyone's take on it so thank you so so much to everyone that is in the video i really appreciate appreciate it all the opinions are so valid and i'm so so grateful and i love having lots of different people on my channel guys a lot of the fans are Chelsea fans because I know more Chelsea fans than any other football team, obviously, because it's a team I support. But I also have tried to get as many different football fans as I could from different teams. Um, but yeah, as I said, the most are Chelsea fans, but it doesn't matter because it's not really like a video surrounding what football team you support. It's really just about football in general so it's not really biased but anyways guys before i get into this video i just want to quickly say my opinion now guys i personally think standing in football grounds should be allowed um i'm very passionate about the subject and i am because i do a lot of away games and that's where i was chelsea fans stand all the time um i feel like due to the fact that we do all stand at away games, not home games, but away games, we do all stand, I feel as though it should be made safe, um, it does say on the ticket, no persistent standing allowed, but everyone stands for the full 90 minutes anyways, so I feel like, because fans do that, it should be made safe, because... I know Hillsborough and disasters have happened and they've been absolute tragedies and it's been so upsetting and distressing for all involved and all families involved. But if, if standing does happen, I think it should be made safe to the point where I mean, like, it's, like I know a lot of my local teams have standing um, and it's with basically like metal bars and it's made safe standing. I think if it's made safe, it should be allowed. Um... And yeah, and I feel as though, because we are in 2018 now, if if standing was to come in place, I do feel like football grounds would make it safe enough for fans to be able to, to be a part of. So in that sense, do I think it should be allowed? Yes, because as I said, things have developed a lot now. Um, people will have learned from mistakes in the past. We know why disasters happened. Um, so that standing would, would be made safer than it was like when, for example, disasters like Hillsborough happened. And I feel that's why it's such a controversial controversial subject because I feel as though, because then disasters have happened, it, it it's hard for grounds to just say, you know what, let's have safe standing because of their mistakes. They don't want tragedies to happen like that again because it was so upsetting and distressing. But guys, I personally think safe, safe standing should be allowed in football grounds. So guys, um, you're about to hear from lots of different football fans. Thank you all so, so much for coming on. Hello there guys, I'm Lawrence, all last 1507 from 100% Chelsea and Emma has asked me to quickly give my opinion on safe standing sections possibly being introduced to English football. And basically, to keep it quite simple, I'm very much for it. I'm massively in favour of it because if you didn't know, I do live in Austria, I'm not lucky enough to live in England and I go see my local club play every week. And we have a safe standing section there and that's why I'm stood every week or every other week if you will. So I know, and speaking from experience, that it's actually safe and we all know safety is why it's not been introduced so far. Like I said, from my experience, I can tell you that it's actually a lot safer because if you've ever, you know, been standing in a in a seating stand in England, but a seating stand where everyone stands anyway, for example, the Matthew Harding lower at Stamford Bridge or the Shed lower at Stamford Bridge, it's very unsafe because, you know, because of the seats, there's very little space for your feet to actually stand in, basically, and especially when celebrating. 
there's, you know, you're quite likely to actually fall over and just lose your, your footing, basically, and just fall over the people in front of you and having to lean on people not to fall over. And with, you know, safe standing sections, you have this rail in front of you to hold on to and just stops you from falling over other people, basically. And also, it just, it just makes everything much simpler, in my opinion. You have a lot more space, so it is therefore safer. And also, in my opinion, it would massively increase the atmosphere because... You know, you have the away match going fans, you know, in England. And those are, you know, three or four thousand regular fans that go to almost every away game. And we all know away fans in England tend to be very good and very vocal. But at the home grounds, they sort of split up throughout the whole ground. Some sit here, some sit there. And then you just have these moments where, you know, the Matthew Harding lower sings that song, the Matthew Harding lower on the other side sings another song, and then the Shed lower sings a completely different song again. Then you just don't have any atmosphere going and a few people singing different songs and there's just no atmosphere going. And, you know, if you had, say, the three or four thousand in one stand that usually go to away games all sitting in one stand or standing in one stand even, you know, it would just create a much better atmosphere because, you know, those people are used to going together and are used to singing together, basically. And it would just be more of a combined thing and people that don't want to sing and want to sit can still sit in another, you know, in another stand because it wouldn't be safe standing stadiums. It would just be one or two safe standing, you know, stands per stadium, basically. So like I said, I think you could massively increase the atmosphere with it. I think it would be much safer as well. So yeah, like I said, I'm massively for it. And I think most football fans are. The question is, will it ever be introduced? I hope it will be. I think Shrewsbury have just built a new safe standing section, you know, with those exact seats that you were on about. Basically, you know, they're clapping them down for international games and then clapping them back up, you know, for just standing, basically. And you have the, you know, the rails in front of you to not fall over. And like I said, Shrewsbury have introduced that and I hope it's a start. Obviously, it's very different for Shrewsbury to do it, for a Premier League club to do it. But yeah, I do hope it is introduced in the Premier League sooner rather than later. Hi, Emma. I'm definitely in favour of safe standing. Since the introduction of all-seated stadiums, the atmosphere at grounds has declined. It's much harder to get a good chant going when everyone is sitting down. If every ground had at least one section reserved for safe standing, I believe the atmosphere would improve. Another benefit might be more affordable tickets for some supporters who've been priced out of attending matches, including families. We need to dispel the myth among some politicians that football fans are all troublemaking hooligans. Stewarding and policing have changed a lot since the dark days of the 1970s and 1980s. Let the match-going supporter have some say in how they watch the game. We already put up with changes of kick-off times and days. Give us a voice. Give us a choice. I think that um, safe standing at football grounds should definitely be introduced, you know, it creates a good atmosphere between the fans. If there's that one section what's up on the feet for the whole 90 minutes singing and stuff like that, it's going to add a lot more passion to the game. There's been times where I've been to, you know, the so-called bigger teams, the bigger grounds and stuff like that. I've been there and the atmosphere's been awful. Um, I mean, in my opinion, I don't think the Premier League's got the best atmosphere um, in the world. It's the best league. But I just think by adding, you know safe standing and stuff like that <clears throat> it will definitely add to the atmosphere and i know that a lot of clubs have had it rejected because of health and safety and stuff like that so it doesn't look like it's going to happen at the moment but in my opinion i think all the health and safety thing about it, it's all over the top but yeah i'd definitely love to see safe standing introduced me personally but that's my opinion everyone's got a different opinion so yeah. I think safe standing should be reintroduced into English football because it will make atmosphere better at the games and you know that means better fan experience and it will sound better on the telly. So it's a win for both broadcaster and fans. But in all seriousness, Hillsborough, that happened 20 or so years ago, correct me if I'm wrong, where people got crushed in the safe standing zone, it cannot happen again. It simply cannot. We have safer football environments in 2018 than we did back when Hillsborough occurred. We have better policing, we don't have fences, pitch sides. It is simply a whole lot safer to have safe standing now than 20 years ago. And if you look, Celtic, they have successfully reintroduced safe standing and it's safe. If you look in Germany, a few German clubs reintroduced it, it's safe. So I think for the benefit of atmosphere, fans and the Premier League itself, Safe standing should be reintroduced. Hi Emma, I think safe standing should be allowed in all football grounds across the UK. 
Um, I think that it shouldn't be in all the areas of the ground. I think it should be just at the moment, just a corner of the ground. Um, I also think they should have safe standing in away areas as well. Um, I think that would be really good. I mean, all the away fans stand anyway, so I don't... I mean, they can add it if they want, but it wouldn't be that beneficial. It would be a waste of money, but definitely in the home areas of all the Premier League ground. I think it should be brought back in as long as it's made safe because even when people go to football matches, you know, the only problem about it is, is people sometimes stand up in front of, like, people and then it's a bit like if you're shorter like you're a child and you can't basically see what's going on so if it's controlled and if it's made safe then I would say it is definitely should be brought back in. Hi Emma, Chalky for 100% NUFC so my opinions on safe standing and for safe standing I believe that it's something for the future I mean I know you talk about the Hillsborough disaster and you know what's gone before but you know, you've seen other grounds, the likes of Celtic, you know, tried out and it's worked. Other grounds, you know, European grounds. I don't see why we can't do it as long as it's suitable to do so. I think also it would create a better atmosphere. You know, you've only got to look at the likes of the Bundesliga to see how the attendances have risen over the years uh, and how a lot more fans are enjoying the football. A lot more English fans are going over abroad to see, you know, their, their culture. I believe that we should do it. I mean, you've only got to look at the old city stadiums that there's not many you know, fans that want to sit down, that all want to get up and sing. And that's why there's a lot more singing sections. I believe it's the James's Park that we should have this because it'll create a, a more better atmosphere. And you look at other grounds, you know, over the course of the country, everyone talks about how it's always like a library atmosphere and, you know, the security is quite high. But you just never know. You've got to give these things a chance because if you give it a chance, then if it doesn't go well, then at least you, you can say, right, okay, you know, you've experimented it, it didn't work out and you can go on from there. But... I know there's a huge debate and this debate is going to go on but you know you've already got to look at other clubs and the likes of Wolverhampton they want to try it for next season so why not why can't we you know experiment a safe standing and give it a, you know a really good shot and see see what it's all about this will generate a better atmosphere and that's the point I'm trying to make it will generate an atmosphere for, for the future and you know, the, the younger supporters as well this is what they want to see and a lot more fans are you know singing these days and you know you've already got to look at Newcastle and look at us you know with the, the Gallagher flags and you know, you just, you just got to give it a chance and if you don't give it a chance then you're not really going to know whether or not it's going to be a success or not. So that's just my personal opinion on safe standing. I am definitely for it, but if others don't go for safe standing, then at the same time, on a safety aspect, I totally understand. Yes, people, what is going on? I am Craigo28 and Emma has asked me for my opinion on safe standing. Now, safe standing for me is something that has to happen. It's definitely got to happen um football was better atmosphere was better during the 80s and 90s when people were able to stand uh, in grounds and you've seen it work at uh, celtic at celtic park uh, i'm a chelsea fan in the matthew arden lower everyone stands up anyway you've got all the seats there but everyone stands um there's no massive point of having the seats there if we're being completely honest um but no look it Atmosphere has definitely declined and I, I've grown up with my dad and a few of um, my uh, well, my dad's friends and associates saying about how good football was back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s um, and how the atmosphere was so good and so brilliant and such, uh, especially when they were on the terraces uh, and doing so much uh, singing and you swayed and you did everything as a unit and as a team. Um, so it's a massive thing and I think it's definitely got to happen um, and I think definitely doing safe standing is the right way to do it because there will be people that part way through a game you know do need to sit down or uh, do anything and to have that option I think is definitely the right thing to do uh, I wouldn't do the whole ground of safe standing but I definitely would do uh, a corner or a chunk or one stand or whatever it be because you see it at Celtic you see it at Borussia Dortmund um, Barcelona I think I don't know if it's standing or not but they have a big section behind the uh, the goal where everyone stands where the ultras are and it just works honestly and it creates that big uh, big amount of noise and that big atmosphere and that's what you need at the top top club so for me I am all for safe standing definitely 
thank you so much for watching guys please like comment subscribe as i said a massive massive thank you to everyone that did come on the video also guys all of you viewers out there let me know down below in the comment section do you think safe standing should be allowed let me know and up the chels thanks